minerals and their mode of occurrence what is a mineral a mineral is an element or chemical compound that is normally crystalline and that has been formed as a result of geological processes without any human interference rocks may contain one or more minerals for example limestone consists of a single mineral only but majority of the rock consists of several minerals in varying proportions although over 2000 minerals have been identified only a few are abundantly found in most of the rocks minerals are formed from a combination of certain elements depending upon the physical and chemical conditions under which they are formed we have minerals with wide range of colors hardness crystal forms luster and densities these properties are often used to classify the minerals in general minerals can be classified as metallic non metallic and energy minerals metallic minerals can be further divided into ferrous non ferrous and precious groups examples of ferrous minerals are iron ore manganese nickel cobalt etc examples of non ferrous minerals are gold silver copper platinum lead etc examples of non metallic minerals are limestone mica gypsum salt potash sulfur granite marble sandstone etc examples of energy minerals are coal petroleum natural gas etc mode of occurrence of minerals minerals are usually found in ores an ore is a type of rock that contains minerals the ores are extracted through mining the mineral content of the ore must be in sufficient concentration to make its extraction commercially viable before taking up the mining work it is very important to know about the type of formation or structure of a mineral some minerals are formed by the process of precipitation from a solution and some are formed by solidification of a melt we have already studied about how igneous metamorphic and sedimentary rocks are formed igneous rocks Igneous rocks are formed from cold magma. Magma is melted rock deep inside the earth. Magma on the crust is called molten lava. Sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are formed as sediments are pushed together or cemented by the weight of the water and layers of sediment above it. This process of layers settling into the bottom happens over thousands and thousands of years. Metamorphic rocks. When changes in pressure, temperature or chemical makeup alter a rock, metamorphism takes place. Granite arises by the consolidation of a molten magma at high temperatures and great pressures. The type of formation of a mineral helps to determine the cost of its extraction. It is therefore important for us to understand the main types of formation in which minerals occur. Let us now learn about the mineral forms, veins and lodes. In igneous and metamorphic rocks, sometimes minerals occur in the cracks, cervixes, faults or joints in small or large amounts the smaller occurrences are called veins and the larger are called lodes the mineral deposits that form when a mineral fills cracks in rocks are called veins major metallic minerals like tin copper zinc and lead etc are obtained from veins and lodes beds or layers in sedimentary rocks a number of minerals occur in beds or layers they have been formed as a result of deposition accumulation and concentration in horizontal strata 
coal and some forms of iron ore have been concentrated as a result of long periods under great heat and pressure. Another group of sedimentary minerals include gypsum, potash salt and sodium salt. It takes millions of years for the sedimentary minerals to be formed. Potash salt and sodium salt are also formed as a result of evaporation, especially in arid regions. Gypsum is used in plaster of Paris, fertilizers and ornamental stones. Another mode of formation involves the decomposition of surface rocks and the removal of soluble constituents leaving a residual mass of weathered material containing ores. Bauxite is formed this way. Placer deposits Certain minerals may occur as alluvial deposits in sands of valley floors and the base of hills. These minerals deposit in sands are called placer deposits. Alluvial placers are formed by the deposition of dense particles at a site where water velocity remains below that required carrying them further. Placer deposits generally contain minerals which are not corroded by water. Gold, silver, tin and platinum are most important among such minerals. The ocean waters contain vast quantities of minerals Common salt, magnesium and bromine are largely derived from ocean waters. The deep ocean floor contains extremely large quantities of nodules ranging from centimeters to decimeter in diameter, the largest known resource of magnesium. India is fortunate to have fairly rich and varied mineral resources. However, the distribution of minerals has not been even. These are mainly confined in the peninsular region of the country. Broadly speaking, peninsular rocks contain of the reserves of coal, metallic minerals, mica and many other non-metallic minerals. Sedimentary rocks on the western and eastern flanks of the peninsula in Gujarat and Assam have most of the petroleum deposits. Rajasthan has reserves of many non-ferrous minerals. The states of Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Punjab and Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir are deficient in mineral resources. These variations exist largely because of differences in the geological structure, processes and time involved in the formation of minerals.